ただいまより大事な試合を行います青コーナー1 7 8ンチ1 0 9 5キロロッキーマルーマティネス赤コーナー1 8 8ミルコークローコンプレー There is just something special about Mirko Krokop making his way to a ring to, the, to that song, the look on his face. And when he walked into the ring, he looked over to his right, saw Peter Ertz. He gave him a wink. Looked over at you and I, nodded his head, and we just know we're in first show. Well, on top of it, every one of these fights going forward could be his last fight. Correct. This could be it, the next one could be it, we don't know. So, this is something special watching a legend like Mirko Krokop get ready to retire from the sport. He said it's his 56th time coming to Japan. He says he's heard all the talk that MMA has evolved. He says, but you know what? You still punch with two hands and you kick with two feet. The basics. Haven't changed. Took some time off because of his left knee surgery was done. People ask, why do you still fight? He's like, it's my job. It's my passion. I talked to him a little bit before uh, uh, the weigh-ins, and he was like, you know, I'm getting pressure from my family, my wife, my mom, to stop fighting. He goes, but I don't know what else to do. Like, I love this. He has other things he can do to make money, but he's like, they don't interest him as much as fighting guys. He's got his investments. Guys. He's got real estate. He's got a ton of stuff going on. His manager, Ken Amai, set him up, taught him how to get, deal with real estate, taught him how to keep... You know, invest in his future. He's he makes more money off his other stuff than he does fighting now. But he's like, I just can't stop. I, I I don't know what else to do. Like this is the thing that he wakes up trying to do every single day. He's loading up. He's loading up. From our vantage point here, there was that left there. The rookie Martinez, more than glad to stand and bang with Mirko Krokop. Check. His left kick is checked there by Mirko. Roki now trying to go for the body. You see him picking up the pace here. He's got to watch his distance though. Stand there waiting. You got to keep something in Mirko's face. If you pull, if you don't keep a jab in Krokop's face, he's going to catch that left hand. Somewhere. Yeah. That the, the the one thing about Mirko Krokop is you've got to keep. There's the kick there. You got to keep him going. Oh, that's got to be. That's just the, that left to the body. It's only because Mirko's got redness on his left side. Rookie with the body shots on the left. Oh, he's waiting Sweet. for the cake. He caught it. Oh, looking for the takedown. Good job by Mirko keeping his balance. Good job by the officials inside and outside to keep the ropes together. I thought they were going through the ropes on that one. They charged it so tough and so high. Rookie doing a good job keeping the pace, keeping the pressure. Using his right knee to punish the left leg, the surgically repaired left leg of Mirko Krokop. Good head pressure. Good head pressure, good positioning by Krokop to keep the pressure off. It's been scheduled for two rounds. Opening round is 10 minutes, second round is five minutes. Elbows are allowed. Oh, body shot. Thunderous body shot by Roki Martinez. He's got Mirko with that a couple times now. Mirko right down the center with that left. Oh, beautiful left there. It's, it is getting through, Frank. You're right. You can hear Kenamai's daughter and his uh, Merkel's manager yelling for Mirko. Oh, he's attacking now. He's picking up the pace. If you, if you remember Rookie's last fight, it looked like he was always hurt, but he just kept going and going and going. He just wouldn't go he's, away. He's oh, there's very, the high kick. Wow. He's very durable. Like, he's very durable. It takes a lot of, it looks like it takes a lot of damage, but they're all glancing blows. He has a really good thing with his defense. It's a little late at times. But he does get part of the punch taken off and, and uh, makes it miss slightly, which allows him to fight later in, in the round. In, in last fight, I thought he was done for sure, and he still came back. Yeah. And, you know, he did a great job. Mirko's just timing that left there. Oh, a nice left elbow there by Mirko. Rookie's like, nah. He just basically whispered, come on. Right 
These guys are exchanging shin kicks. Rokey's doing a good job of keeping the pressure on, staying in his face, not giving Merkel any time to breathe. Causing stress, always keep him under under duration. It's punishing that left leg. Side punches don't seem to do much. Like you just see punching on the guy's side. It doesn't seem like it's doing much, but it all adds up come later, yes. especially when that's the lead leg. He's working every angle, every angle of that leg. I feel like when junior high school, we're passing notes. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> Oh, an uppercut landed by Roki. Miracle now engaging the clinch here. Left under hook. Roki making him carry his weight. Putting all his weight on him. Tiring. Roki Martinez now trying to throw the knees. Uppercut, body shots. Miracle with the left uppercut. Another uppercut by Miracle Kolkov. A left. Cut. Oh, one. Look at that. Wow. Roki Martinez bloodied up by Miracle Crow Cup. One of those uppercuts snuck through. Oh, says so an elbow. And the elbow's what caught him. Oh, it's in the forehead. Okay. I thought it was coming from his nose. It looks a lot worse than into his eye. Look at that. Perfect <laughs> technique. Perfect oh. technique by Mirko Kolkop. I wonder if he learned that last night. Just That's turning nice. the elbow over. Is that something Miri just added, or has he done that before the time? Look at that. Wow. Oh. It's instantaneous. The referee saw it right away. They called, they called it. Called the fight. They call the fight. The cut is too deep. Mirko Krokop, four minutes, I think 58 seconds, with a left elbow, ends Roki Martinez's night. Roki is not happy right now at all. Well, not of course happy not. He, at he all. He wants to continue to fight. He wants to keep going, but there's the cut, and I'm sure they could have got the bleeding stopped, but it was probably too deep. And then there's, it's fighter's tape. There's no more reason to go in and get, you know, get your head cut more open. As a fan, I wanted to see more of that fight as well. I want to see what would happen if we got in the second round. With everybody's energy and everybody's punching power. Well, it's, I mean, Roki was picking up the pace there, was really getting the execution going, and then Mirko just with one opportunity was able to get that elbow through there, and then boom, game over. Martinez's his corner man just came by and just looked at us and gave us a little hey, little sign. Small cut, man. Small cut. He's very Jason Herzog got to escort him back out there. Yeah, that's good though. That's good for one. Hopefully to see my new year. I want to see my new year. I'm gonna see yeah. New Year's Eve is last fight and retired. Got a great fight to be done. We're gonna lose. Just not get damaged. I want to see happen. Right now, here it is. There goes Pro Cop. Unbelievable. Brooke and I have always had a very strange relationship. When I first started coming to the pride, I was totally very scared. He wouldn't talk to anybody. I walked in and was like, so Miracle throws that the, the fist bump to us. Yeah. That's the first time I saw Miracle's fist coming at me. <laughs> and his glove was the size of my hand. Yeah. It's huge. He is a beast. So, the monster. very first time I met Miracle, I had to do an interview with him. Do a brief interview with him. Totally engaged, totally open, totally yeah. happy. He never, like, he never does that for anybody. No, know. It's probably just that fighting. It's very simple. Then years later, uh, I saw him running around in the, in the 